what's going on guys welcome back to the channel don't know why i have this shirt on my shoulder but it look good <laughs> anyways guys bates motel bates motel another week another time to relish in the beauty of greatness <laughs> not doesn't happen to me very often i still try to make comments but last episode really got to me because I don't know, I don't know what to think about the situation because it's just like, I don't think Norma should let Caleb back into her life, but it seems like that's what's going to happen. And I don't see the upside of it, but nevertheless, here we are with another episode. If you want to see more episodes of Base Motel, go check it out on Patreon, man. You know, that's where it's at. By the time you guys are seeing this, I'm pretty sure we're done with the show. So go check it out on Patreon, man. Let's jump into the reaction and I will see you guys right after for the review. Let's go. Hi. Hey. So everything's calming down. She came back yesterday. Yeah, well, she came back yesterday. You talked to her about Norman yet? Not yet, no. I want to do something for you. So thank you. Um, can I maybe buy you dinner some night this week? I know it's not much, but I... Tomorrow night will work. Emma, you coming home right idea, now. But... Dad, I'm fine. Oh, they changed their dad? Norman's brother. Hey. Hello, Della. I'm sorry. I told her not to come in today. She's still recovering from that night with no sleep. I'm really sorry. I didn't, I didn't realize. It's that. not your fault. It's hers. She doesn't realize her own limitations. It's helped her most of her life. Dad! Emma, get your stuff. We're going home now. She doesn't want to accept the truth about her health. I don't either. But it is the truth. And I'm not going to let her life get shortened if it's in my power. Dang. Okay. What the hell? Alex left me a message saying he was shot? What do you mean he's been shot? I don't know. What the hell? I mean, can't a woman get in a freaking mood for one night without the whole world coming to an end? A mood? <laughs> Hi, Alex. It's Norma. What's going on? Call me. There's a lot happened in that one night, Norma. Did he just leave his body there? Damn, Alex. I officially withdraw my Candace's <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Alex is like, two can play a dead game. Well, I'm gonna go into the office. Well, you are the manager, so yeah, go manage. <laughs> Where the hell have you been? I went to the phone store. What, what are you doing in my house? What's going on? Well, I haven't answered your text for 36 hours. I, I thought you were dead. Why does everyone immediately jump to I died? <laughs> because you were missing. Because you put yourself and me in a vulnerable position, making that alleged deal with Bob Paris. Alex, don't start. Hey, I am not dead. I am alive. You're alive. Whoopee. Whoopee? They tried to kill him. Well, somebody tried to kill me, and I can only assume it was a message from Bob, so... Are you sure? That... Oh, now you're going to tell me how things work around here? I just don't think that you should assume that he's the one who tried to kill you. You know, I could be dead. I, I did get shot at. Well, it looks like it went right through you. Where's the flash drive? Why? Because I need to know what I'm dealing with. Why do you have to drag my flash drive into it? You wanted me as an ally. I gave that to you. I respected you. Fine. Dylan hit it at the farm. It's taped under a grow light timer at the cabin. Some it's kid not... named Gunner knows how to open it. All right. Hey, Sheriff. Hey, Gunner. What can we do for you? Yeah, I talked inside. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, it's Dylan's Uncle Caleb. Y you're Norma's brother? Yeah. I hear you can open the file on this. No one here is going to be in trouble for any of this. Come on. I don't know what that is. As far as I know, it's just a piece of the timer for the grow light. Gunner, it, it, don't make me get out the gun and bang your head against the wall and all that shit, because I will do just that. <laughs> Some kind of ledger. Should I know something? What? What? I can tell Dylan I have it. Hey. Don't, don't even stop. Let him by. What? Well, I'm going to kick your ass someday, and I'm going to join. <laughs> I got a question for you about the name of that ledger. I was wondering when you'd actually look at it. An awful lot on faith from that Bates woman. Finally saw your mom's name on that ledger. She's been dead 22 years, and she'd be rolling in her grave thinking her name's on some piece of what shit like me? that. I didn't put it on there. Then who did? Your father. He set up that holding company way back. Thanks, Bob. You're welcome, Alex. 
So maybe now you'll help me. Oh. I need to talk to you. No, I can't let him back in my life, Dylan. Don't ask for the moon. You, you have to be realistic. We can't just erase what happened. I actually wanted to talk to you about Norman. Oh. That night you were gone. Norman pretty much lost his mind. He, he, he blacked out. Not for minutes, for hours. And, and then he, he kept wandering around the house that way. I found him in the basement with a dead pigeon. There's nothing new for Norman. There's always something dead in the basement. He's not okay. He's hallucinating. I found him in here in the middle of the night cooking breakfast. Who doesn't want breakfast at some point in the middle of the night? He was wearing your robe. And then he told me that I need to go wake up my brother, Norman, for breakfast. He thinks he's you, Norma. Mm. Look, this has been circling us for a long time. And, and we just, we, we keep looking the other direction. I need to get this dude help, dude. Blacking out, the cutting up all the dead animals, Blair Watson. The polygraph completely disproved that. It's all way too much together to be dismissed. But I'm keeping him home. He's going to be safe. Hey, you gonna, you gonna lock him up when you need to go somewhere? Maybe. <laughs> she just said maybe. We need to do something. We have to deal with it. I agree. They really do need to do something. We can't just leave this up to to chance, man. I've been saying that Norman needs to get some help, but just gonna keep him so safe. His father is in jail. Interesting. What is he serving time for? Alex, you're looking well. It's a, it's not a social visit. I wouldn't be here. What does it matter? It's a name or ledger. I don't understand your attitude. I made a lot of money for a lot of people. You were a dirty cop to the rotten core. That's what you were. Oh, yeah? <laughs> You're one to talk. I mean, I'm nothing like you. You're going to take her name off the ledger or I'm going to kill you. You got that? He's one of your dead friends, is dead. Okay, I'm sure you got a lot of them. You're not using her. Not anymore. You have to make such a big deal out of everything like you always did. It's annoying, but there's no telling you anything. Huh? You always know best, don't you? And you? You vilified me for your mother's death for 22 years. She's the one that chose to leave that way. I yeah, drove her to it. I didn't know such thing. You drove her to it. I loved her. I see you, Alex. Hey, you think um, there's any chance I could maybe stop by the house ever? I don't think so. Well, you yeah. thought we... Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. Good. Found these in my garage. Ugh. Tried to grow pot once. After I got out of that hospital, it didn't have a touch. Yeah, that should, that should be helpful. So you and I got some things to go over? Yeah. You still haven't told Dylan about, about the change trip. My mind. Just change it, huh? You think you'll change it back? What's going on? Nothing. Your dad was gonna do a run for me. Run a what? He doesn't Apparently even know. Nobody needs to know now that no one's doing it. Look, sorry, but I, things have changed. Okay, I don't want to take the risk anymore. How much does this run pay? After FICA and Social Security, $25,000. Hey, Dylan, what's the run? Guns. How risky? It's gun running. <laughs> Guns, spectrum, totally Pretty. mild. I've done it for years. One run. God, I love Ryan Hurst, That's dude. That's all I'm up for. Look, you're not doing it. Not to give me time to get another driver. He's not doing it. You guys talk it over and let me know by tonight. What the hell do you think you're doing? Situation came up. I need money. There's this girl, she was up here once. She wears oxygen. You got that girl in trouble? No, it's nothing like that. She, uh, she's a friend. She works in the motel. She has cystic fibrosis. She, she needs a lung transplant or she's gonna die. Look, I just don't think this is a solution. If anything happened to you, especially something that I somehow brought on you, I don't know what happened to me. Newsflash, Caleb. I don't care. <laughs> What are you doing here? You left in a pretty agitated state the other day. I returned any of my messages. I was worried about you. Well, I've just been really busy. I, uh, I talked to my brother. It's okay. Everything's fine. I highly doubt that. Just given the things that you were talking to me about, everything about your son, the thing that you're going through. Okay, I am very worried about Norman. Maybe you could talk to him? Of course. Look, at, at some point, I'd be happy to. Okay, but... come on in. Come in. Ah, Jesus, man! There's someone I want you to meet. I'm busy not, right now, mother. Like, on, let Andrews. me look up and see. Norman, cut it into an owl. Your mother asked me if I could come down and just talk to you for a minute. Oh, I'm, I'm more than happy to talk to James if you think that's best. I'd like to do it alone. I'm sure James and I won't be needing your mother. 
I don't want you to be nervous about talking to me, Norman. This is what I do. I'm a professional. I'm not nervous. That must be really nice, huh, to help people. It is. So you like taxidermy, huh? Yeah, I do. I find it very peaceful. It sort of allows me to shut the world out. Shut the world out? Yeah, sometimes when I'm in the world, I feel almost like there's this annoying sort of buzzing that just won't stop. And then I get down here with my animals, and it all goes silent. It's interesting. Tell me more about that buzzing you experience. Well, it's like a world full of people. So many people all with opinions, judgments, and arrogance, and theories. People who think that they help people, and they're pointless. None of them know anything. You might as well listen to a woodpecker pecking in a tree. Can I ask you something now? Of course. Shoot. How was it sleeping with my mother? What makes you think I slept with your mother, Norman? Let's just say I've known her a long time. And would it bother you if someone slept with your mother? Let's see if your mother ran out on you and your brother one night and tell you where she was going or when she was coming back and then threw herself like a whore into the bed of someone she barely knows, some licensed family therapist who could probably lose his license for such behavior, but that's not really the point. Would all of that behavior bother you? Yes, it might. So what was she like? It's <laughs> not an appropriate question, Norman. Come on. Come on. Men here, it's not like we don't know what goes on. Did she give too easily? You know, I think we're done here. Are you uncomfortable? Huh? Because I know. I can imagine what it was like. Did you really think that you'd come down here and it would be your little secret? Oh, we banged each other, but now let's send you downstairs to fix crazy Norman. Norman, why do you care so much who your mother might be sleeping with? Yeah. <laughs> what does it mean that she could be attracted to someone? Does that take her away from you? Yeah. Norman, do you want to sleep with her? Yeah, you were asking tough questions, not... <laughs> How dare you come into my house and say such an ugly thing to me. Nigga, you are a grown man. If you don't, if you... <laughs> James, you can't get Norm... I can't believe James can't get Norman off of him. James? James, what's wrong? Your son is... Give him some help, Norma. Get him help. He needs help. There's no way little Norman... <laughs> Little Norman. You just said horrible things to me. Like what? I can't even tell you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Norman. Well, I would kick you so hard in your chest, boy. You over me trying to choke me like that. Punch you in That's the how face. Used to be. Everything's changing. I don't know why it is, but it is, and it's just changing so fast. Nothing will ever change between us, Norman. I am your mother, and I always will be. Nothing means as much to me as being your mother. I'm gonna make up some dinner and we can spend some time together. Get that boy some help, Norma. Are, are you okay? You sound weird. I can't drive and I can't be walking around town like this and... Okay. Are you drunk? Emma, you gotta be kidding me. Where are you going? I'm gonna go and grab some dinner with Dylan. Damn it, Emma. I'm sick and tired of having to play the bad guy here. You're acting like you can somehow control this by keeping me locked inside that house. You and I both know that will make a difference. My, my time is going to pass, no matter what you do. So I might as well do something with it that I want. This really amazing person wants to take me to dinner tonight, and all I want in the world right now is to spend some of whatever time I've got left with him. Can't even tell you why that's so important. If I let you go right now, I don't want you to think you've won this argument. Never. What is going on with you? <laughs> I got shot. Jeez. You are a mess. <laughs> you two just get together already. <laughs> hey, you need looking after. No, 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 I'm fine. I, I, I won't put you out. Just, just try to get from the house. Shut up. Okay. I'm going to go make dinner and then I'll come check on you. Norma can't help being a mom. That's the thing about her. The best quality about her is that she can't help being a mom. That's what happened. Mm. Uh, <laughs> one of the names on the ledger was my was my mom. She's uh, she's been dead twenty two years suicide. And my dad, he he was the one who set up the trust. He's, he's in prison. And he was using her name to uh, collect his share of uh, of the drug profits. I'm so sorry, Alex. Yeah, that's my sad story. Life is so hard, isn't it? Sometimes. Are you gonna be boning, Sam? <laughs> I like the two of them together. 
I know James don't want to come back around Norma ever again. I like them together better. But Norma is too... I think they are better for each other. Because they know everything that's going on. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm. I think you're beautiful. You're drunk. You're not going to like that you said that to me tomorrow. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Smells great. Chicken Marsala. Be ready in about half hour. We can eat dinner here tonight and make it special. Oh, I, um, I didn't know that you were making dinner. I have plans to meet with Emma. Why are you having dinner with Emma? Well, she, uh, she stayed over here the night that you were gone to help with Norman and... I don't think he knows that Norma and Emma is dating. Okay, why not invite Emma here? I would love to have her. Not a good idea for him to go out with Emma because sure. Norman okay. is going to take that person. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Nigga. Yo. You're just ask. You're just asking to be <laughs> shot at this point. What are you doing here? I picked you some flowers. I remember you like these the lupins. Oh great! Remind me of the time you were doing all that stuff to it. Oh my god, this guy just won't get a clue. Take the hint, my guy. I'm just gonna leave him for you. Where are you? Um, in this really? No. Basically, saying thank you for. Talking to me the other day. Yeah, could I just gave that to Dylan? You know? It meant a lot to me. I don't even think Flowers is going to can't be fix. friends, Caleb. Amen. Listen, man, you I gotta understand. you understand, but you just won't go away. That's that's awesome. <laughs> Goodbye, Norma. Caleb, you wanna stay for dinner? It's not a just good idea, tonight. man. Keep showing up. Keep showing up. Keep showing up. The family's here. We can we can all be together. Even just for tonight. Ah, it's tough for me to feel sorry for him in any way. My brother's joining us for dinner. I'm gonna get the food on the table. It's almost done. Does anybody else understand how weird this is, or it's just me? Do it. You brought him into our house. Dude. I didn't. She did. This is so not a good idea, bro. Hey. This is shaping up to be. I just want to say thank you. I'm, I'm feeling better. I call cab. So. No, you're not. You're gonna stay for dinner. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not in any shape to. No, 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 no. I'm not taking no for an answer. You're staying. Let's go sit down. Dinner's ready. Well, uh, where should I sit? Anywhere. Here. Thank you all for being here. I had this dream when I was little uh, of a home where the door was open and and friends could come and go and stay for dinner and talk and everything would be lovely. Thank you all for giving me that. <clears throat> to, uh, to family and friends. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. I think, I think what's going on here with Norma is like, you know when, you know when so many things are going bad in your life, you just want, you just want a break. You just want a break from all of it. I think that's what's happening here because as what I'm watching right now, at any given time, Norma could just snap. Because of everything that's going on. It's like, I guess she just wants a little bit of normalcy. And she's willing to even sit with Caleb, of all people. This is insane. <clears throat> to my sister, Norma Louise, who's always been like the sun in a cold universe. This nigga just won't sit your ass down and just... You're trying too hard, man. You're trying too hard. Come on, man. You keep forcing yourself into situations, right? And you keep getting grace. And you just keep pushing it. Now you're going to make a toast to Norma? For allowing us all to be together. And God bless you, Norma. Food's going to get cold. Okay. <laughs> I'm all for family gatherings, but this one was weird. All I know... I think Norma is gonna end up kill Norm Norman is gonna end up killing someone before before the end of this season for sure. Like for real, undeniably, kind of like upfront and personal. We probably gonna see him kill someone. Look at this creepiness right here, Jesus man. And the thing about it is this: you can't even blame him that much because she encourages this kind of behavior. She does. I mean not to that extent but she doesn't distance herself from this kind of thing so it makes i don't even wanna i don't know man. you know maybe i'm maybe i'm being too harsh with caleb you know what i'm saying maybe i am being too harsh 
on this whole thing. But I think, you know, as I've said it before, there are certain things that are forgivable. But I think in the future, you should distance yourself away from that from, from that thing, right? I really do think you should, right? So for me, you know, when it comes on to this series and what it and what it's about, right, and how things go, it's really hard for me to see this working out in the long run. We're on going on to now the last three episodes of this season, right? After this one, this is episode seven, and the way of things that go, it seems like things are getting to a boiling part boiling point with Norman, right? I think he's going to hit a point where he's just tired of all of this and he's gonna black out and he's gonna kill one of these people that's sitting at the table is going is going to die before the end of the season. I feel like I don't know who it's going to be, but I think at the end of this season, I think by the end of the season, somebody is going to get killed by Norman and it's going to be undeniable that is him. And they're going to have to try to protect him in some way, even though he killed somebody that's precious to them. I'm, I'm hoping it's not Emma. I'm hoping it's, it's not Emma. I mean, it will be sad if he killed Dylan. I don't think it's going to be Norma. I don't think it's going to be Emma. I think it might be Caleb because he's right now he's the 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 um like the shadow over everything that just needs to go away and just won't go away. And I feel like they're doing this on purpose because they're planning to kill his character. That's what I'm thinking. I could be wrong, right? I definitely could be wrong. Um So, in other words, a lot of the different material that is going on right now as in uh, at, at least not material but relationships i should say that is going on right now we got um dylan trying to help emma i don't know like the way how they're interacting make it feel like they, you know dylan wants to date emma that's how it seems to me it's not a good idea to even take her to dinner because she's currently dating norman and you know how Norman can get a little jealous about those things. Um, and he might say some foul stuff to Emma. So I don't know how that's going to go down, but I feel like it's not good. Of course, we have Sheriff Romero finding out about his mother being on the list. You know, dude's been, you know, his father's been using his mother's name to collect, you know, profit from the weed business. So all that's there as well. Um, he he has no right to be cussing out his dad, saying his dad was a dirty cop. Nigga, you a dirty cop? <laughs> okay, you don't have no footholds talking about I'm different. No, you're you're just as bad. You you might you know maybe find justice for some people, but that doesn't make you better than your dad. By guy, you're you're just as dirty as he is. Okay, Let's get off your high horse, Alex please <laughs> you know so as i said I, I i was really hoping you know james cool guy but you know what i'm saying cool guy but i don't think he fits with norma that well um i think alex knowing everything that's going on with this family you know what i'm saying overall all the troubles that they've had he's always been there um I don't know if Norma really wants to get wrapped up with him though. That's a, that's the thing. Um, but he does have, he does feel a certain way towards her for sure. So I don't know if they're going to end up together, but I, I hope they do because I think that, you know, as much as I don't, I don't promote toxic relationships, but in the context of the show, I think they would work well together to protect each other because they do have true feelings for each other, always trying to help each other in all these different situations. So hopefully things work out for them. In any case, guys, that's all I have to say about this episode. Um, yeah.
Leave a like, leave a comment. Catch you guys for the next one, man. Peace.